Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. Uh, so, uh, do we have any plugs quickly beyond the usual uh, of the Patreon and the Redbubble? What day is this episode coming out, it Darby? It is the, I believe, 8th of March? Yes, the 8th of March. Then I have <laughs> nothing. Okay. Happy 8th of March, everyone. Happy, yeah. happy 8th of March. Happy 8th of March. Mm. Hope this year is good. <laughs> so far. Yeah. Mm. It's a few months in the future. We're still yeah. in 2020. Yeah, We're still the in the cursed year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are, no at, it is the 7th of December for us. So things could change quite a lot between now and then. Oh boy. Everything's going to be great. We're all going to be able to go outside and go places. Who knows? Mm. We might even see each other in person. Who yeah. can mm. never be sure? Uh, anyway, uh, I'm sure, based on everything that's happened these past few episodes, you're all wanting to see what happens next. So let's jump into it. And we're back. <laughs> so, where we last left off, uh, the party uh, reunited uh, and caught up in Deosil. Or so they thought. Zath, uh, a dread magister of the Wizards of the Ruins, was is currently in Rook's place. Uh, meanwhile, back in Karas, uh, Rook is escaping uh, to return to the party with the help of one Samuel Visk, uh, commander of the uh, Dread Magister's armies and uh, and secret agent for the uh, for the Concord. Uh, Bertie and Ross also had a bit of a heart to heart after. Uh, after Ross uh, clued Bertie into Zach's true identity. So, uh, let us start in the room with Zach, Anya, Newman, and Caius. Was there anything that any of you were wanting to do? Um, um, yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll wait. I've just had a big, big... Um dialogue scene so i'll oh, let good. you all have a have a go <laughs> yeah um caius was still just sort of keeping an eye on everything um he's going to check out uh anya is, is anya still like dead she's not dead she is sort of aware of everything um that's going on um but when she, um, and I'm just going to naturally say this is something that she can do because um, of her insane passive perception. But when she feels Caius's eyes on her, she kind of um, opens them and looks across to him. I... I questioningly give Anya a thumbs up. She, um, she looks a little bit pained. Um. <laughs> she, she looks a little bit pained and she, like, raises her hand from the bed a little bit and does, like, a wavy notion. 
Um, but then, um, but then just like shakes her head a little bit. I would like to insight check on you, please. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an insight check. <laughs> um, oh, what's my modifier? <laughs> Zero. Um, does a five work? <laughs> my, no. Glorious knowledge do I gleam from a five? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Guys, is gonna go over to Anya and sit on the bed. Okay. Hi. Uh, hi. I have determined that you are not okay. Um, she glances over, um, across to who she knows as Rook and Newman, um, and makes sure they're still mid-conversation, um, before, uh, casting her eyes back to Caius, and she's like, I think I understand how you felt when Ross died. Oh no, who died? No one died. Oh. Um, but when she went through Dimension Door with Sam, She, her eyes sort of flicker over to them again and back to Caius and she's like, I am worried. And I am very tired. our feelings as a group and and not sort of go off on our own and, and everything so that that might help uh, allay some of your worry and with being tired I mean we can all entertain Rook in your stead if there are beds here we can you can just have a nap we won't we can wake you in a few hours if you would like, or you can just wake up on your own. And and we we have a couple of rooms. You, you can just just take a sleep. She she looks a little bit torn, I guess, because she's she's exhausted and she needs the rest, but. Um, She kind of, her hands almost without her notice, um, she starts sort of um, picking at her nail beds and picking at like the nail polish um, that's still on her fingernails. 
Um, and she's like, I, I don't think I could sleep. Well, in general, I can't sleep, but at the moment, I don't think I could trance right now. Um, but thank you. Um, At the moment, I don't know I don't know if everything is okay. And she like carefully looks over um across to Newman and Rook again um, and back and she's like uh, she kind of leans over to um, to Caius uh, puts like two fingers on his wrist um, and like sort of leans as if she's going to get up and she whispers to him um watch Rook and Ross I don't think I don't know what's going on with either of them, but something is wrong. Okay. Speaking of which, Ross and Bertie out on the stairs. Under the stairs. Under the stairs, that's right. Like sitting under the stairs. Like little urchin children. (laughs) (laughs) uh, Ross like sat down next to Bertie and at first she kind of sat down kind of cross-legged and then after a second probably just uncrossed her legs and like pulled her knees up and just kind of not in like a little huddle but just like rested her arms on her knees and just kind of leaned her head back against the wall yeah and god and to a sort of parallel but he has his knees dropped to his chest but he's kind of got his arms wrapped around and he's kind of like resting his chin on his knees um his ears flicked back Thank you for believing me. I don't... Well... I'll keep an... I'll... I can't say I believe you 100%, but... I think it's definitely worth being wary of her. As I said, I don't know Rook that well. I'm not a very good judge of character, so... I'll, I just, I'll believe you for that part as much as I can. Thank you. And I just. I'm, if something happens, I can't be the only one who knows. You know? I can understand that. It kills you inside not being able to tell anyone about stuff that's could put people in danger, so I'm surprised you've come to talk to me about it. I mean, like I said, part of why I did is because I I kind of figured you wouldn't believe me. But I I knew you wouldn't believe me just because you like me or want me to think you believe me. You'd want proof. And I don't have a lot of proof. 
And why would I come to you, knowing you wouldn't believe me with no proof, if I wasn't telling the truth? You are a very smart girl. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. It does make sense. Again, you could be playing me even harder, but... um, I'm... Yeah. Look, I... I didn't want to say this, Bertie, but I know you're not the biggest fan of me, but I do think of you as, if not a friend, someone I care about. And I am very good at lying, but not to people I care about. I've said it before, I think we're very similar in a lot of ways, and that's the way we're not similar. I find it very hard to trust people, and people kind of joke about it a lot, like a lot of things that are important to me, but um, I don't like calling people friends easily. Because people don't... Hmm. The time you spent with... Sam? The time you spent... At your university... Before he came along and sat down next to you... That's what it's generally like for me all the time. Or if people hang out for a while, they go away pretty fast. Because I am very annoying um and that's fine because it's easier that way um i'm kind of i wish i found it easier to consider myself close to people as quickly as you can and because i always kind of think the back of my head even if someone's being nice to me it's because that's, that's going to go away soon is because it's for the person I've made for them to uh, like for a short time, I guess. Um, I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to be more comfortable with how things are and take more things at face value with what people say. So, but, um, So, I'm surprised you think that way to me, and I'm sorry if I've been a bit, if I've said some rude stuff to you before. I didn't mean to do that. When I called you an idiot, back after the fight with the dragon, I was just... Worried and yeah, you were justified. And she kind of rubs the her right shoulder, which is the one that got critted on in the dragon fight. Mm. And she's like, I, I, I know you won't believe this because you've just told me you're working through it but I don't think you're annoying (laughs) and I don't know maybe that says as much about me as it does about you but you seem like a good person Birdie (laughs) and honestly um I figured if you were mad at me, or didn't like me, it was for a reason. I'm not great at people not liking me, but if they have a reason, at least, you know, but you don't need to have one, and you were right to call me an idiot. It 
wasn't good, though, and you didn't need that. You got hurt a lot, and it wasn't the best thing to do. I need to be, I'm trying to be more mature now about stuff. I just get, just been getting really angry lately, and I don't normally do that, so yeah, I guess. I got worried for you, and I got worried for Caius, and it's because of the thing that happened to you before when you got attacked by the shadows. I wasn't even there for it, so I don't really even know what to say about that, but and she, um... She has the, the hand she has on her shoulder kind of moves to her chest. And she's just rubbing at her collarbone. I don't know. I... I'm sure, like most people, you probably don't want to talk about it. Um... I don't really know what you went through, because then I was going through stuff at the same time. But I saw how Caius was after that happened, um, and yeah, I just, I've spent a lot of time trying to keep Newman and Anya alive, and myself alive, for not really enough pay that we should be getting for the amount of times I have nearly died. <laughs> um, it, uh, it's just difficult caring about people and I didn't know how to talk to you about what had happened and yeah I have been upset with I guess well what you said before I don't like people talking off the top of me and everyone does that a lot of the time um so that's, again, that's something I'm working through, but I just didn't know how to deal with what had happened to you. And I, well, as I just blurted out to literally everyone, I mean, I was dying, I caused Kai's to really, uh, to have the same problem, and I mean, that's fine, so that's all sorted, so we don't have to discuss that now, but, um, that's the stuff I was worried about, but I guess... Well... <laughs> I can understand things have been pretty shit for you, so... <laughs> that wouldn't have I... helped. <laughs> Thank you. I can... Look, I, I get not knowing how to talk about it because I don't really know how to talk about it but um you said you've been having um, issues with your magic right yeah yup I've been going through some changes lately um okay uh when when I woke up, I didn't know what had happened at first. I thought I'd just passed out. And, um, you would probably know if you use a focus. Um, when you tune to it, it's not, it's not just a thing that you use, it becomes a part of you. And the first thing I realized was I didn't know where my tambourine was. I've been attuned to it since I was six. That's when I... I don't think our brains are meant to comprehend that kind of stuff. 
So I don't know how you were keeping the fact you were dying to yourself. When I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um... But you, uh... You're right, I've been different since we came to Deosil, and I've been stupid and reckless and... Because I don't know how to live in a body I almost left anymore. And I... And the thing is... Birdie, um, it didn't leave a mark, I guess, and everything else does. I think it's the worst kind of mark, it's something that, uh, when it heals, that's something that, uh, you've got a bit of that, but that's something that I used to do most of the time, mostly to just show off I guess but um when you heal people most of the time it doesn't leave a mark and but you still feel it yeah but it makes it easier for no one to have to ask you about it or for you not to make other people worry because they can't see it but it's still there yeah so um I guess I'm sorry too that um that you were a lot more visibly hurt than any of us and we all still just that I still just let us keep hurting you too. Very 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 reluctantly he's like uh, uh, then kind of takes a little deep breath a little breath and then he puts his arm around Ross's shoulder um and then he's like yeah um it's you probably I know you think we're all great friends and it's probably because you make friends very easily after what happened in college, I guess. But you could probably already tell by now that no one is really good at dealing with any of this kind of stuff. I guess it's... Uh, Newman and uh, Anya have been adventurers for a lot. I mean, I've only been an adventurer really for three months. <laughs> um... I guess because we're so used to nearly dying all the time and we just don't talk about it. Well, as you said, Kaius doesn't like talking about stuff. Um, and well, whoever the real Rook is, uh, I cannot even imagine that. That's probably why her and Kaius got along so well. Um, but uh, I can get it because I that's what I've been thinking you've been doing, but it's the same thing with the death thing that nearly happened to me and to him. Um, it's... You don't... You don't want other people to worry about it, so you just don't talk about it, but you want people to worry. Is that the same for you? She nods. Has anyone talked it, to you about it proper? No. Um, Newman asked about it a little bit, Anya, after I um, had my outburst. Um, no one's really... I didn't want to be the one to bring it up. 
but no one wants to. Yeah, it's just easier not talking about it. And yeah. It's... It really sucks. Shouldn't have happened to you. And in fact, if I had made that stupid mistake with the belt, you, then you wouldn't have run off. <laughs> then that, that wouldn't happen in the first place. But it happened, and that <laughs> sucks real bad. And, and if I'd let you go after him, I wouldn't have been there at all. You probably wouldn't have gone chasing figures down an alley. I don't know, I mean, Kai seems to like doing that. He, he, he does like fighting, so he probably, it might have happened anyway, really. And I, I would have been an idiot now, but well, that's what he wants to do, so I'll go do that as well. <laughs> so, because uh, that's what I do. Um, but yeah, look. It really sucks. I don't... I don't know if there's a way to get you feeling com uh, like alive in your body anymore. Hopefully at some point there will be. But I don't think... And that's something I've noticed with Newman. He's a sweet boy. And that's why I was worried when I... Uh, when he went to go to talk to you after... The thing back at Kaiser's house with his sisters and everything like that, the weird pastry banquet thing. Um, he like... <laughs> Newman thinks the best of people, but he also thinks that solutions are the best thing. That's the same thing that Anya thinks, and... I uh, just... there. And that's not always the best thing. Sometimes it just... It would just be nice for people to say, Hey, I notice things are bad, and that... That's bad. Do you want to talk about it? Or. Huh. We I'm are really similar, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yup. Sucks, I'm girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry this has all been happening to you. It sucks. I've been around for a long time. And you know what? I'll tell you what. My plan originally, literally even just after we'd gone back to Braxton's, um, just after you basically had been brought back to life and were probably still uh, about five miles away from where you were then, uh, Braxton took me aside and talked to me about the death curse thing, which I've been trying not to think about at all because Anya had tried to bring it up before then. That sucked. And then... My first plan, what I was going to do, well, <laughs> um, when I first started traveling with Anya and with Newman, Anya took me aside um, when she saw that, well, when she thought I was reading weird books or something, and she told her in her way, which I now know is not actually as bad as it sounded, that if I caused trouble for anyone, she would take care of me in the Anya way, not in the Karen way. And that, that stuck with me a lot, um, but I've, I've worked through it. She's a nicer person now because of Rook, I think, of, which is bad if this is not Rook. Um, but yeah, I was gonna just run away from everyone. Um, I was gonna just try because I didn't want people to worry about uh, what was going on and um, I would probably be, well, I probably wouldn't be dead because I was kind of just dying at a slow rate, but an increasingly faster one considering the weird stuff that was going on. <laughs> um, but uh, I, yeah, I was just gonna run away. Um, really the only reason that I stayed and even got rid of this thing was because I realized I'd hurt someone else. And I need to fix that for him, so... Yeah, we all do stupid things. And... I will, I'm honest, the reason that I've been getting mad at you, at least recently, with the fighting and stuff, is because I'm just worried. And... 
It sounds bad that, like, I'm worried for how Caius feels about whenever anyone gets hurt. Usually it's you, because as you say, you've been getting into trouble a lot. But I'm worried as well about you. Um, is... And, like... Even just back then, when Ani was saying that, Oh, well, tomorrow I'm gonna get Caius to train with you. You know, you need to learn how to how to how how he fights so you can do the same thing. I'm gonna train her, her to be a combat bar, just like... You know, it's making yeah. me real mad because I tried to talk to Anya that to try to teach you how to be safer and how to be stealthy and remind you that that's you being alive is important. You did? Did she even give you the necklace? Necklace? What? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. When I started fighting, I had to buy a necklace because I kept nearly dying all the time. And I don't think this would help you permanently, but um, it's uh, it has a magical property that at least if you do knock yourself out, you uh, you won't just go straight to dying. It's um. Well, yeah, it helped me a lot, and it, you, you heal yourself more as well. Um, I was hoping she would teach you to have more faith in the rest of us and not just run in. And, well, uh, earlier when you said uh, we have, um, you're the only one person with Revivify, I've been going out buying scrolls. I don't know how to do that anymore because I'm not a cleric anymore, but, um,. Uh, I can do that too. I've been trying to practice and I think I'm pretty good at it, so... You don't have to be the only one who has to worry about everyone else. In that regard, either. So... Thank, thank you... for... You've been looking out for me this whole time? Well, I mean, I've still been an asshole to you as well, so like that's, uh, <laughs> but that's, that's just me. I'm a very awkward person and not a very nice one sometimes. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, I could, a, a nicer person would have actually sat in and talked to you much earlier than, yeah. But, but I'm not very good at speaking my mind a lot. On that note, uh, just for the sake of uh, brevity and expediency, is there anything anyone wants to do over the course of the afternoon? Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, Zach, um, what does... I guess, I don't know, does anyone want to leave the room <laughs> first? Or does um, anyone have plans around that? <laughs> Go for it. Caius actually did want to have a chat to Ross at some point really quickly as an aside. Well, uh, I mean... If if that's an option, if not, then he yeah. would. I mean, at some point, Birdie and Ross have to come back because they said they were going to be mm. gone for, like, okay. in, discuss, out, and they've been gone for, like, yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. I guess I'll yeah. do um, this um, in, yeah. during the 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so I guess Zaf has been, um, yeah, Zaf was chatting with Newman a little while ago. That's going to kind of taper off. Um, Zaf will cast, uh, detect thoughts on Newman just to see if there's any, Okay. I don't know, any yeah. surface um, level like, oh, I've been lying the entire time. Ha -ha. Well, right now, both me as a player and Newman are currently thinking like, when do I do it? When do I do it? I can't have the others around. I think they'll really want this. But the others can't be around. When do I do it? Now? No, it looks like she wants to stop talking. Ah, uh, later. <laughs> oh, Maybe no. tonight. I don't know. <laughs> um, that's basically priority on his mind right now. That's but fair. I can't imagine anything he said has been a lie at all. So um, okay. that would... Oh, nice. 
on his mind either. It's just that's okay. what's on his mind, right? Um, in that case, I'm going to roll a persuasion check, and I'm going to ask Newman. Um, I guess I'll roll it first in case I do terribly. Oh no, yeah, no, nah, that's a um, that's a twenty-five. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I'll be like. Oh hey there, um, hey Newman buddy. Um, is it alright if? Oh yeah, I've got I've got some coins here for you. Um, could you make sure that I've got a room, or if you've already got a bed sorted, that can you go and pay 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 it for like a couple of days for me? I I want to contribute. And um, maybe could you I... check on like Ross and Birdie, just to make sure they're okay, you know, buddy system. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think they were going too far, and I'm pretty sure, knowing Birdie, they probably just went downstairs <laughs> to that's the bar. Fair, yeah. um, so I'm pretty sure that's the same place that I can do this. But like, yeah, you but... don't need to, you don't need to give us coins. It's fine. It's oh fine. no, I want it's to. And um, also, I'm, uh, uh, you know, uh, she kind of like <laughs> dots her eyes at Anya and is like, oh, I kind of want to have a little, a little chat with Anya. Oh, right. Yes. Okay, um, get, yeah, uh, yes, I'll do this. Um, now he, he probably said this a little louder than he should have. Um, but he's like, okay, um, and like he looks over towards Anya and Kaisa. Are they still chatting away? Uh, probably, uh, oh, no, sorry, probably I was finished about and him. It was a very short exchange. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking for a very long time. <laughs> Kaius has probably, like, awkwardly gotten up and, like, maybe, like, just pat Anya's hand a couple of times and then just sort of shuffled back to the door and is just kind of (laughs) standing there awkwardly in the guard position and is getting more and more nervous the longer this conversation takes. Uh... Um, All right, well, in that case, Newman makes a decision then and there and he goes, right, well, um, I'll leave now i guess um cool i'll find you later and then like he goes to walk off and he takes like two or three steps and then like he stops and he like almost goes to like turn back around like there's like a almost like a jolt and then he's like no and shakes his head and he walks out of the room um and um he (laughs) out on his way out um, I, I believe Kaius will be somewhere near the doorway again as he has he shuffled away from the bed. Um, yeah. He will like salute Kaius and like um, does like a keep an eye, like look after him. Oh, actually no, he wouldn't do that. He would probably or, or probably gesture for Kaius to come with him because of the nature of what and because of such a good persuasion role as well. Um, yeah, he sort of guesses that probably wants to be alone with Anya. Okay. Um, um, so he's going to gesture and, like, point to um, Rook and point to Anya and be like, come with us. Come with me. Yeah, take your time, guys. I'll catch you later. Uh, we we will be around. If you need any assistance, call like a blackbird three times and we will break down this door. Hi, okay. Um, I'll just shout for you. Okay, so they've been mildly sus. <laughs> I'm gonna roll an insight. Been practicing a blackbird. I I don't know a blackbird. No. Mm. Like I know a blackbird, but I can't make the call. Oh. Um. Maybe. If maybe... anything happens for you, I will listen for a blackbird. Yes. No. <laughs> instead of that. My call will be a blackbird. You just call my name. That's the better idea. I feel safer already. You and shall we go? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm already on the way out, so... All right, see you guys. Um, please let me know if just rolling constant insight checks is, like, cheating. I don't know. Um, I rolled um, a 21 for insight on um, Kaius and Anya. I'm sitting sense in a... Kaius is looking uncomfortable. Okay. Um, well, I can tell you everything that's going on in Caius's mind right now. <laughs> um, Caius doesn't want to leave people alone and is very torn between, uh, leaving his post, 
which he is expressly told two members of the group he will stay at, mm. and leaving Newman alone, which he has also been told by Newman not to do. Yes. 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 So he is... Uh, <laughs> it's difficult to sort of determine what he... Uh, what he would be thinking. You, but can, you, assume, you can see his torn. Yeah, you assume he's probably thinking if it's within the realm of possibility to split himself in half. Could Anya <sighs> see that he's torn as well? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, Anya would make eye contact with Caius and nod. And I guess with the insight, um, not Rook would be able to um, tell that there's, I guess, a wariness to Anya, less so much with not Rook than with the situation. Yeah. Um, but she feels safe enough okay. to like dismiss Caius from nice. the room. Okay. From the room. All right. So Zeph isn't especially sus of them. All right. Um, and I will just add um, that Newman also like apologizes to Caius as well because Newman was also very conflicted because he did know he was basically contradicting himself. Um, he was just like, look, I think they need a moment. Um, we're not going to go far, just downstairs. Or you can stay at the door if you want, but that might be a little weird. I don't know, but I'm just going to be downstairs. I, I will follow you. All right. And um, yeah, he goes yeah. downstairs. So, given given this privacy, Zach, what do you want to do? Okay, Zach will kind of like eye up on you for a bit, and then just be like, consideringly tilt their head, and just be like, mm, yeah, sure. You seem to be like the brains of this situation. All right, roll a wisdom saving throw. Eddie, with disadvantage. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, with advantage. Wait. Sorry, you have advantage. I have advantage. I have disadvantage. <laughs> um, just give me one second because I just want to double check something. So, okay. So you have advantage on this effect. Um, yeah. Just give me one. Um, is this something that could either read my thoughts, determine whether or not I'm lying, know my alignment, or know my creature type? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it? Wisdom saving? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, 16. Okay. 16. You are charmed. Wait. Yep. <laughs> you did roll aren't, with advantage, right? Yeah. Oh, you rolled with advantage? Yeah. Aren't elves immune to getting charmed? No, no they have advantage. advantage. Yeah. No, but I'm immune to getting charmed because I have the ruby rod of the Packmaster. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I tell that I was just charmed? Yeah, yeah you can tell that there was a charm <laughs> attempted to be used there. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Anya, um, oh, she raises an eyebrow at that. I don't Um, and she's like, interesting. I'm sorry, what was that? Huh. I think I felt a presence here. Something. So Zath, roll me a deception check. Uh, and Anya, roll an insight check. <laughs> oh. What a, what a bad pick. <laughs> you should have picked human. <laughs> yes! I, mean, I was like, I'm not going for the high. <laughs> like, I completely <laughs> forgot about the, the charm immunity from the rod. See, but I knew also that makes... Anya's got like so many different immune but, yeah. and resistances to charm effects. But so. Rook, Rook didn't know about the rod, so no, it makes sense oh, no. that yeah. Zath has no idea about the rod. Okay. I rolled a 27 for deception. Oh. Fuck. Okay. 
Um, I rolled a 27 as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> what does that mean, Darby? So, <laughs> it doesn't... You can't tell if it's an outright right lie, but it does seem a bit suspicious. Ugh. Anya, um... Anya plays along. She, um, she's like, I, um, I felt it too, that's, um, should I call for Caius? I don't know. I, you know, I've I've been practicing with magic lately, and I can kind of tell, you know, so I can hunt mages and stuff. But I can kind of tell a bit more when a spell's been used. Um, that just went right by me. I know it. I can really... go have a look if someone's in a room next to us or something. No, I think we should. Um... I think we should stay here. It clearly didn't... Well, it didn't work on me. Did it work on you? I mean, I hope not. I don't feel any different, so... I didn't feel anything to, like, do anything. Huh. Ugh, ancestors. What has been going on? Has this kind of stuff been happening to you? It's, I mean, you, 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 you still seem pretty worried about the wizards now. Is Has there been danger previously? Anya, um, she's very quiet for a bit. Um, and then she's like, I don't think I want to tell you. And why's that? Do you think something's happened to me? Well, I can't tell, can I? I know that the charm didn't work on me, but how do I know it did not? I mean, I guess you're right on that. I don't know. What What do you know about magic? Would it be... <laughs> I probably know a lot more about magic than I think you would expect from me. Quick questions of Darby. Mm -hmm. Is there any control effects that <laughs> not not that would really break I out mean... break through the immunity? Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> I don't know. I've equipped Zeph probably just thinks it didn't work anyway. Mm. <laughs> Crap. You so Zath Zath would have felt an Eldritch block. Oh, interesting. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, other moments in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie and Ross wipe their faces at one point and then do each other's eyeliner under the stairs and then, like, and they'll emerge and that might be when, like, Newman and Caius come down. At some point in Bertie and Ross's conversation, clairvoyance kind of Flipped out of existence, and Ross was like, "Oh boy, good thing there's four of them up there, and now it's clearly only two of them up there." And she's like, trying not to look panicked about it. Can I um just do something that will affect their current what they are doing? Also, yeah. Um, with her telepathic link with Hafrin, mm -hmm. um, Anya's going to send Hafrin to the others 
to tell them that Brooke just tried to charm her unsuccessfully. On top of that, doesn't Ross have ears in the room? It's probably been over 10 years. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it probably blipped out while it, uh, Rook was still talking to them. Okay. It probably blipped out right before she started talking to Anya. So uh, the four of you see uh, Hafrin in cat form approach uh, probably Bertie and Ross um, before quickly turning into an imp. Oh, no, it's Hafrin. Uh, there's bit of a mishap up there. Rook just tried to charm on you. And I don't mean flirting, I mean magic. Uh, shit. Newman looks at Caius as if to say, do you want to go kick down a door? Are the two of them here yet? Catherine's just turned up. Yeah, they're, they're in uh, sight. They'd be in sight, so. Perry just looks exasperatedly at Ross and then exasperatedly at Hafrin. Um, Anya sends through the link because she can see all of this. She's like, um, situation is under control. Um, situation under control. Don't cause a scene. Don't cause a scene. Be wary. Be wary. Better hope if we don't want to see the human and Caius haven't just heard that as well. It's very loud for a um, uh, stealthy th- little human. Human and Caius are standing behind you going, What did Havran just say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Ross is just going to grab Newman and just pull him under the stairs. <laughs> Back under the stairs we go. <laughs> But, and but, then, but, like, just but, 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 to Caius and Bertie to get in there as well. So he grabs Caius by the hand and just tries to drag him along. Uh, Caius comes in but is not focusing on what's going on. Um, but, sensing that something is very wrong, uh, Caius starts gesticulating uh, and, like, clutching his chest. Um, and he's going to cast Gift of Alacrity on himself. Okay. He just looks very perplexed at Kyla. E. Oh, he's oh no, he's already. He's like, oh, he must be doing his weird. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing. I'm going to fight. So now yeah, I'm going you to... can you can see kind of like there's almost an after image of Caius, as if there's there's like a blending of him from the current point in time and a potential future. Are you oh. okay? What's going on? Uh. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Okay. Like, what they just said they wanted a moment. The, okay, the, okay. The... Okay, oh, gods above. I really hoped we'd have more time to do this. Um, uh, and she looks over at Birdie as if to be like, do I say it? Um, so... Bertie is going to um, very quickly take out a little bit of wire and then like um, press his finger to his throat and um, you hear a whisper in your head which is like, if we tell them now, we have to take action now. If we do not take action now, we can't tell them. The situation is under control. That's what Hafrin said. What we need to do is make sure Rook doesn't do that again until... Is until Hafrin still with them? Yeah. Um, Anya sends through um, immune to charms, gift from Asmodeus, uh, don't come here she may try on you. All right. So the boss uh, blocks that kind of stuff from her mind because of the rod. Uh, and yeah, she's saying don't come up because uh, the person pretending to be Rook or the person who is Rook but has gone weird or I don't know uh, will might try on that. you. Just, just 
just retcon. <laughs> yeah. As far as Hafrin's aware, it's Rook. Like Hafrin yeah. would not yeah, have said it's that. It's Rook. <laughs> well, well, he's he's suggesting multiple possibilities. He has some arcane knowledge, so Hafrin does a lot of yeah. bullshit too. So yeah. you know. Okay. Okay. Look, we just. Oh, Newman, please don't hate me. I didn't tell the whole truth in there about what happened in Bapsashad, but I need you both to believe me when I say that that help is coming. And that all we need to do is just just wait until help can be here. We just have to keep Rook from charming any of us or contacting anyone in Bapsashad. I don't care if you tell me the whole truth, but obviously it sounds like it should be told right now. I feel like that would be pretty relevant information. What what happened? What what is going on? It's you're you're not gonna believe me. It's I can help with that. You have a truth spell. Or... Ross. I'm going to try something. I haven't done this before. Oh. But I need you to not resist. Okay. And she, like, holds her hand out or something. Like, her arm up. Like, uh, back of her hand up. As if, like... I don't know something. <laughs> Caius is going to cast Zone of Truth. Oh no, that's a zone though, isn't so, it? <laughs> yeah, so, anyone, <laughs> so, Ross. so Bertie, Newman, Ross, and Caius, I would imagine, and uh, Hafrin make the saving throw. You, oh, Anyone shit, who I'm... wants to can choose to forego it and automatically I forego fail. it. Uh, it is only 15 foot as well, so it's only it's only downstairs. It yeah. won't be Anya and Rock. Uh, 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 it won't be Anya and Rock. Charis- it it's will be Hafrin zone. though, that's what. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Charisma. Yeah. It's a 14 for Four- Hafrin. 14 DC total? 16. Yeah, so <laughs> Hafrin, Hafrin cannot lie at the moment. Oh no. <laughs> He speaks his mind we anyways. He's, he's made it yeah. very clear. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. What he he's... has to say. I don't want to know what he's hiding. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, Kais will uh, intentionally fail the saving throw as well. Okay. Uh, can Can Newman sort of piece together what's going on right now? Because if he can find out that it's Caius doing this to everyone, then he'll forgo it. But if he's just, like, been told that Anya's been charmed and now he's like, feeling some form of charm himself. You you recognise the um the gestures of, of a spell. Um, okay, well if he knows it's from Caius then he'll forgo yeah. it. And Birdie shudders for a moment and then the um the silvery pink of his eyes go focus back on red um as he fails that save. Well, great to do a charisma saving throw and fail it. So uh, does that yeah. Does that mean everyone is comp- like can only tell the truth in this zone of truth? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. is a a reminder. Time, no, a no, reminder. Have ramification. A reminder. You not. You are not You're compelled compulsive. to speak. Correct. But you cannot lie. You're aware that anything you say has to be the truth. You can omit details. Like you're not forced to. Um, you know, admit to anything. You know that you can move words around to make it truthy, but yeah. The problem is, you cannot happen. intentionally tell a lie. And God knows what he will ask. Me. Yeah, but but Hafra as as a devil is like like telling lies by telling the truth is his like bread and butter. Shake. Yeah. Alright, so what does Caius okay. do with this? Uh, Caius is going to concentrate and just sort of shudder a little bit as the spell takes hold. Uh, he's going to look up and be like, so now we should 
or will be telling the truth. Bertie, what is your name? Oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, that is an interesting question to be the uh, <laughs> the test. So, Bertie says some strange words in a language you don't understand, that you cannot comprehend on this current plane. It's, it oh. just gives off the feeling of the Feywild when, when Bertie threw you through the air. You, um, you do recognise, speaking Elvish, like certain roots, like yeah. words like that, that have evolved into the Elvish that you would know and understand, but like... Ooh. It's like hearing, it's, it's essentially like hearing Latin. You might recognize a, a syllable or two along the way, but it's mostly so incomprehensible. It kind of sounds like Bertold, but like through like five kaleidoscope layers or something. Oh, maybe it didn't work properly or maybe it's not working on you. Um, okay, let's try. Um, uh, Ross, what is your name? Rovari Hope Dolvit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's, uh, now I don't. It's. It, it, it work. That is okay. my real name. Newman, what is your name? I'm Newman. I'm Newman. Oh, yes. Right. Newman. Newman. Theodore. Miles. Okay. I'll be honest. That was meant to be a simple introduction. <laughs> What? Newman goes, what's your name? I am Caius Fiator Silvius. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, now that that is out of the way... Um... Hmm. I'm sorry, that has thrown me. <laughs> This is true of stone, isn't it? It is. You cannot speak a lie here. Well, it Unless, did work. of course, you're incredibly charismatic and you can uh, pass a level of, uh, of magic and you're able to resist. In that case, you would absolutely be able to uh, get past it and only I would know if you would uh, not succumb. Oh, wow, this really works. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Well, um, let's get started. Hi, what has happened? Ross looks at the ground. She puts the arm she was holding up down. She looks up and she goes, that's not Rook up there. And so how much do you fill them in on? Uh, oh, God's above. Because she Anya. heard everything Newman said about the wizards. Anya upstairs, um, hearing this through Hafrin, mm. pointedly does not react. Is that because you had worked it out or because you are trying not to look surprised or shocked or anything? She is trying not to look surprised or okay shocked. in that case roll me a deception check to hold in your reaction i don't know why i bought that up i've got my character sheet in front of me uh Zath, an, in, an inside check. <laughs> I also got a 19. Wow. So you, you <laughs> notice oh, the that? faintest, faintest micro expression, but it's hard, hard to know what it was for. Okay. Ooh. Okay, back downstairs. I have a friend coming to help. I believe that he is good and that he is going to help us. Because we can't face whoever is pretending to be Rook alone. And 
we've got... It's going to be some time until they can come. So this is why it would have been better, Hafrin, if this hadn't been mentioned right now, because now everyone's going to have to pretend. Uh, I'm saying this because Anya told me to say it. How do we know that's not a lie? Uh, <laughs> just, uh, just joking. <laughs> One, oh, it, zone of truth. Two, I don't lie, mate. <laughs> We're very aware of that. Yeah, unfortunately. So I guess the question of how much Ross reveals is how much Newman and Caius ask. Uh, Caius asks for the barest of details, which is, what's up with Brooke? How do we know? What's our plan? She, she looks at Newman and she says, you cannot freak out about this. Raises an eyebrow. The person impersonating Rook is the dre- is the- <sighs> Dread Magister Zath of the Wizards of the Ruins. Right upstairs. Right, right now. Yes. And how long have you known? Since before we left Bob's the Shard. And there was no other way. No, no other way. I didn't have time. Turned out. I didn't have time, I didn't have the information, I didn't, I could, I am so sorry, I couldn't, it was either this or have them have the opportunity to, to talk to the other Wizards of the Ruins, at least here they're alone. It, at it's fine, it, it, I trust you. I just wanted to make sure that there was absolutely no other way that this could have turned out. But all I'm asking you all right now is we cannot let them leave. Because I've already told him, I thought it was Rook. I have already told him stuff that I probably shouldn't have told him. I'd imagine, I don't think it was that bad, but I'm sure they'd have some way to twist it into some something really bad we, we won't and just for the sake of my own sanity this is probably the best chance that I'll have at actually being able to do anything a bops a shard so I will wait but I really hope it doesn't take too long I don't... We won't let anything else happen. And then, yeah, he... He... Won't necessarily shut down completely, but he's going to basically withdraw... Sort of his... Attention, almost. As if he's he's stuck in some self-thought. Okay. Um... So, how would you like to collectively spend the afternoon? Um, on that, mm -hmm. <laughs> something that Anya um, would send down to Hafrin as a suggestion to the others, because she knows very much that they will do their own thing if mm -hmm. at any point. Um, she says... Stay downstairs, perform, act as normal. We'll keep them occupied and keep things normal. Okay. So Hafrin relays this to you. And 
Is that what you do for the next several hours? Ross is going to um, buy food and put it in front of Newman. And then she's just going to... Yeah, she'll go off and perform for our rooms for the night. All right. So, there's plenty of time. Anyone who wants to take a short rest during this time can. Yes, I'm um, <laughs> um, silly question that I know I ask every time does Ross have anything that gives her back spell slots or is that just no that is yeah okay cool cool cool, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. and um, I'm gonna get some hit points and not much else okay let me know <laughs> what you are sitting on and you too uh, Eddie yeah um, I'm gonna assume Zath is gonna use enough to get them back to full oh my god yeah they're pretty close to full already Ross huh. has so many hit dice. What the fuck? Because <laughs> because we never use them. No. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess yeah. Zeph is definitely going to read Anya's thoughts at times. No, no, he's not. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, that's right. Um, sorry. Zeph Zaff will try to and be very unnerved. Mm. Yeah, Zeph. Zaff um, if Zath attempts to read Anya's thoughts, it's not even because of the pact of the, it's not even because of the pact rod. Um, so this time it's a completely different source that Zath yeah. can feel blocking. Um, oh. Oh, that that's... sort of aura is around. Oh this, this, this source, I think it it's takes, yeah, it takes Zath. And a, Anya's back up to Max, by the way. Okay. It takes Zath a couple of moments to realize, but then you rem remember uh, that from from uh, your interrogations with Rook that, oh, Anya has a ring of mind shielding. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. She must have attuned to it, uh, mm. certainly. She must still have it attuned. Yeah. Um, Ross, how did you go for hit dice? 13. I used two and I have 13 extra hit points. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, Newman, um, he's pretty much going to take a short rest, but he's not going to get any benefit from it. Yeah. But basically, he's just going to sit there with food in front of him, playing with the bracelet. Um, Probably grateful he didn't made. give it to... Oh yeah, he is now, but me as a player would have loved to have given it. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, spe speaking yes. of gifts, Bertie, are you doing anything with those remaining earrings, or are you waiting until later? Um, well, I guess, what's Caius doing? Uh, Caius is very pointedly not going upstairs, because he is well aware of his own limits, and he will blow it. Um, so he is... Uh, just sort of wandering around in the tavern. Uh, it'll either be in the tavern or just like out on the street. And he's just it's like uh, someone hyping themselves up for anything that just isn't coming. It's fair. <laughs> um, and he's still sort of blurring in and out of the present and the future as well. Oh, it's very creepy. Yeah. Um, Bertie will try to locate him at some point and then just kind of like try to tap him on his shoulder or his for His shoulder! I keep thinking, thinking he's shorter than he is! Mm. His forearm! <laughs> so let's try to get his attention or try to um, see if he snaps out of his restlessness. Um, he does. In the blink of an eye, his eye, his face just sort of almost rotates 180 degrees before the rest of his body does, and he's now staring at Bertie. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay! Very alert! That's good! How are you doing? Well, <clears throat> I feel good that we know what is happening and that we might finally be able to do something to uh, the wizards of the, the ru ruins was it yeah that's i a... will admit i don't know these people um romy about this romy a history check Caius. okay 
He would say that anyway. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's decent. I got a 19. Okay. I know a little bit about so this. So wouldn't, you wouldn't know about their rolling Karas. You would know, um, because because of them being present in Dorham, about their kind of public-facing uh, reputation, which is that they are essentially uh, magical archaeologists and historians. Okay. But you've gathered enough from uh, discussions that there might be a little bit more to it than that, that they don't show to the public. Right. Uh, yes, so it would be good to make a difference, I guess. And to figure out whatever is happening with Rook. The actual Rook, I guess. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I barely had any time to even talk about it first, but um, if that isn't her, then where is she? So, which is good. Because we'll be able to sort, we'll be able to do something. We'll be able to sort something. Um, mm. And uh, you're obviously using some good magic. So, uh, what's that spell you're using at the moment? I I've don't seen that know. Before. <laughs> oh, is it an effect from before? You kind of focus stuff. I tried this a little while ago, um, when I was very slow to react when the dragon came for us at the church. And I didn't want that to happen again, so I tried to focus on becoming quicker, and then this happened. Yeah. So now I've done it again. <laughs> I think it's good. It's it's unnerving, but that's good. Hopefully it will help. Yes. I think that's well, really if I move idea. my hands really, really quickly, there's a lot more of them that happen, so it... That's fun. If Probably faster to do than putting about 12 bottles down as well. So uh, <laughs> to get the same effects. So I guess that's, that's, that's good. Good yes. job. Um, mm. This is kind of, this is a weird thing to ask now, but I guess it would be useful. Have you thought about the earring? Oh, yes. No, I did think about that. And then I got mildly distracted when... Uh, well, everything went poorly. The stuff that normally happens to us, yeah. Yes. We don't really ever get a chance to just rest, do we? No, no, I really thought the biggest uh, problem here today would be, uh, yeah, trying to help you do that. Um, but there we go, this is fun. Have you, do you want to try this? Um, I mean, if, uh, it's probably a good idea to do before whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I guess. Okay, um, I was gonna ask the others to help, but we have to... Hmm. If I may, yeah. I would also like some of the others to help. Okay, um... I just well... know that in the past I tend... I, I tend to flail. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if uh, we'll see if Newman is okay. We'll see if Ross has finished just set for now. Um, it'll be okay though. It'll be over in a moment. Do you trust me? I do. Come with. Me. And Caius will right. follow. So, uh, just make me a quick dexterity check, Bertie. I would like to really quickly just grab the other two because I want to see that. We won't okay. take too long. Yep. <laughs> um, so he'll pop in, I assume, for convenience's sake, Ross has finished one of her songs. Yeah, yeah, she's like doing her bows and she's taking like her mid set break and she's just kind of hovering awkwardly near Newman. Yeah. He's like, oh, hey, oh, wow, great job with the performance. Good song. You have a very nice singing voice. Would you like to just come and step out the back for a moment? You must need a drink. Yeah. Uh, Newman, could you come along too? Uh, yeah, sure. Awesome, cool, thanks. Uh, will these, yeah, let's go. And then he's going to, um, 
try and shepherd them into one of the um like the back room kind of thing because he would have like, quickly asked before he approached Caius um asked his uh Pierre and Corbin if he could <laughs> use the back room for a moment yeah um like okay cool so um this is a bit weird. I was originally going to be asking Rook to help, but then, well, uh, that's I just remembered that this is, uh, well, hmm. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, Ross, Newman, um, is it, well, I'm going to pierce one of Kai's ears. And I need your help. Oh, like, with what? piercing part or the oh no i can do that um is it more for emotional or holding down support kaius it would very much like a distraction okay well um hmm. um oh uh, uh i can i'm pretty good at distracting people. I did it for kids when I worked at Christmas market. Oh, we don't have Christmas in Fiello. At holiday markets. Okay. Cool. This should work. And Newman? Um, yeah, Newman is just going to go up to um, Caius and put like a hand on his shoulder and he's going to cast guidance. <laughs> um, so if you need to do some form of constitution or like uh, sort of a uh, wisdom check or something. Um, you have a plus four, I believe. A plus D one D four. Sorry, my bad. So cute. Okay. So. Uh, um, and so yeah. yeah roll, uh, roll me a dexterity but, check with yeah. advantage for the assistance. So, but he gets Kai to sit down. Um, but he will spot to sit spot down next to Kai. So like, okay, it'll be okay. Trust me. And Kai, can you do a quick ice magic? I just need a little bit of ice. Um, yes, I'm just gonna try and like, I'm gonna get my sword, uh, unsheath oh. it for a little bit, and then sheath it really quickly, and a tiny little bit of ice just goes. Okay, which ear? Where do you want it? Oh, um, uh, the left one, and he points to his right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one you're pointing to, or the left one. The what? Okay, okay, Th- this'll do, this'll do, okay. So he's gonna, uh, gonna do, uh, sorry, he make- makes a little, like, a uh, guess, little mark. He would have a pin because yeah. um, he has that, which he's probably been trying to, like, heat up a little bit. And then he puts the, he gets the ice, the guy's got, holds it down his ear. He's like, okay, Newman, you, if he jumps, hold him down. Ross, get distracted and we will be over in a moment. Ross is gonna start doing like you know when you go to like Maya at Christmas and there are the elves trying to get kids to look at the camera. <laughs> That's uh, Eddie is not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. No. Um, uh, that is what Ross is doing. Is she's doing like the hey hey look at me over here over here just look at me. You're just gonna breathe in real deep. Okay, that's really good, Kaius. You're doing really really good. Just breathe in really deep. Can you breathe in with me? One two three four and hold two three and four and out. Check. Two, yes. Twenty twenty. Nice. Okay, Kaius, <laughs> you take one one point of piercing damage as the. <laughs> uh, but he really quickly slips some um, the uh, messenger ring in his ear. Okay. Ugh. And then he taps his ear and um, casts uh, Cure Wounds on him. Okay. And I'll roll a uh, D20. Ah, uh, yes. Nine, so it's fine. Yeah. Look at me. See, you're fine. You're fine. Look at you go, Caius. You did such a good job. Oh, my goodness. You okay? It it's done. Oh. Uh, so you're the right ear, so... Oh, okay. So that's fine. Um, so Birdie will then kind of pick out the messenger ring from his pocket. And he will, um, look at, um... Yeah, it's fine. He will, uh, take out the, just the little 
basic earring, not the rose earring, because that's in his right ear, um, and pop in the messenger earring, uh, swap that with the, 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 uh, his own messenger earring. And then he'll kind of tap and be like, can you hear that? But can I hear it? Ross and Newman shouldn't be able to hear that. Initially, no, but then then you hey, have... Hey, hey, hey. Because it does take a bonus action to open the channel, but you focus on it for a bit, trying to hear something, and that secondary, hey, 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 you hear in your mind. Uh, um, hello? Hey, it worked. Good job. Oh, oh with these magic earrings. But he kind of like, sorry, z- 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 yeah, 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 actually. <laughs> um, actually, it's, it should, we should probably... Cool. Um, so these... It's a pair thing, but um, you can actually use a moment to uh, talk. To, or we can, as long as we're really close, we can talk to each other. But it's a whisperer. Yeah. Oh. And he reaches into his pocket and holds out another um, box. It's like we could probably. Well, I've been hoping to practice this in combat, which we might have to use. Um, but that might be useful. Uh, Ross Newman, you've got pierced ears. Ross, do you Newman? Um, no. No, I don't. Do you want it? Um, yeah, sure. I feel like this will really... I think this would really help. Okay, cool. It tosses one to Ross. Um, and then he, like, pat- pats the Kais affectionately on the shoulder. And he's like, okay, Newman, your turn. Um, he just lies down. <laughs> and just points to his left ear. Doesn't say anything. Uh, I wrote a nat 20. So um, a 20 he doesn't degree. even take just... damage. For a nat yeah. 20, he doesn't even take damage. He was um, so cool so, and so, so, Sorry, this probably was like, it's pretty mean, but to Caius's perspective, if he was paying attention, Newman just lied down, looked stone cold up to the ceiling, Got an ear piercing, no reaction whatsoever. Stood up and went back to the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With uh, after getting the earring, and he put and he put it. So on. Yeah. excellent. So um, <laughs> you go back to your various standing by activities, and at around about seven thirty, Ross, you hear a familiar voice in your head. What's the situation with Zath? I have your friend with me and can get her back to you through magic. Don't want to cause confusion. Everyone knows. Will you be with her? You have more words, um, if you would like. You don't Uh, have to use them all, but you do have more. Everyone knows. Will you be with her? They all believe me, but they don't know who you are. Okay. Um, Okay. A moment later. I can come through too if you need the assistance. He leaves it at that. Ross is probably like just standing to the... She's probably just standing to the side of the room after performing and if anyone's paying attention to her they'd notice that like she's kind of there staring is, into the male distance. Yeah. Um, he does also say, uh, but if I do, we will have to kill them or my cover is blown. She looks, she's just staring into the middle distance and her eyes are just getting like shinier and shinier. She takes a really deep breath in and she thinks back. Make your own decision. I have a change of clothes. Okay. Um, definitely before any fighting happens, um, Newman does want to go up to Kaius, but he's going to wait. Like, he's basically stopped fiddling with the bracelet and he's just paying very close attention to what people are doing, especially Ross. 
um, looking for any sort of subtle signal like when is it go time? Uh, when when is this starting? And as soon as there's any hint of that, um, Newman will be going to Caius because he wants to have a quick chat. Okay. Um, about in about ten minutes uh, after the sending spell occurs, Ross, you see um, Sam enter the tavern wearing much the same as he was before um he's just walking in casually but rather than the reds of the convocation he some of some of it of 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 the wizards yeah (laughs) um and some some of it is the reds uh some of the like especially like the under stuff but his cloak is a a uh deep blue she just lets her this deep, deep exhale and darts straight over to him. And a moment and later, just kind of stop. Yeah. As as oh, you she approach just stops him, like half a foot in front of him. As as you approach him, um, you see in the threshold of the door, Rook Gisara. Um, Ross looks at her, nods, looks over at Newman and Caius and Bertie and just gestures towards the door. And then she's going to look back at Sam and she's going to, uh, uh, wrist pocket out like just one of her jackets just give it to him and say there's a room out the back all right where where are we doing this they're both currently Anya and Zath are currently upstairs we shouldn't destroy this place Okay. Oh, I would destroy anything. You let me at that scum. Welcome back. We missed you. Back. <laughs> we love you. Um, and actually, Newman is just going to temporarily put his talk with Caius on on the side, and um, he's going to go up to Rook, because he did not expect this whatsoever. Um, And he's just going to give her a hug. And whilst doing that, um, he's also going to palm off the red bracelet um, into her hand. (laughs) Um, And he's going to say, "Uh, this is for two reasons. Uh, This is actually a gift me and Birdie made for you um and there's some more meaning to it later which you'll see but secondly if that's not you up there uh, then maybe this could help us tell who is who because that is very convincing up there um Uh, rook's eyes had been like flaming (laughs) before and they're kind of they're still flaming but she accepts the hug um, you do also notice that, uh, yeah, she's in rather tattered clothes rather than mm. her usual outfit. And rather than her usual Bone Scorcher Great Axe, she is carrying what you would probably recognise as an artificer, as, uh, like, through through the markings on it, as a, uh, as a flame tongue great sword. Um, it's not really I, I'm not sure if this would work or how long it would take uh, but how long does it take to put on um, heavy armor uh, 10 minutes I believe or is that doffing it that might be doffing uh, 10 minutes it. to put it on a minute to doff it okay um, what kind of like is Rook wearing any form of armor or uh, you know that Rook 
doesn't wear armor, even at the best of times. Oh, right. Yes, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I was about to give you my adamantine plate, but whether oh. or not that would have been feasible with the size difference or not, I'm not I sure. I don't think <laughs> she's technically um, proficient in it either. And on top of that, he also did have um, light armor to give as well, which ironically has fire resistance. <laughs> <laughs> I also, um, you but you don't need it, so that's out, fine. Um, I just want to point out that you'll, like, while well, it's like, yeah, let's take care of this situation as soon as possible, you will aren't technically on a time limit because Anya is still with conversation oh, yeah, that's under cool. the guise of catching up. And Haf mm. Hafren's been kind of roaming around in cat form, just just keeping making sure that everyone like that they've got an eye on everyone and that everyone can see where they like where he is so that they know that there's there's a point of contact with Anya yeah um Ross is gonna kind of look around at everyone and be like we need to get them out of this building if we can away from the streets. We can't let anyone else get hurt. How valuable is the orchard behind here? That'd be a no. Let's find somewhere else. <laughs> no, it, 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 it's, it's probably the easiest place to get. It's not that far. So that's probably the best. doesn't have that many fruit in it anymore, so it's fine. I... Yeah, it's it's like, um, it's autumn, so it's it's definitely not like fruit season. But sentimentally, <laughs> um, Zeth Zeth says, uh, not Zeth, uh, Visk Sam says, I can, <laughs> I can, um, maybe try to force them out into the orchard with Dimension Door. We don't want them knowing what we're doing before we do it. Mm. The only thing we have is the element of surprise. Of course. So we go out there. And then she looks at Hafrin. And Anya brings Rook. And you see Hafrin's cat head nod. Oh, he's a kitty Ooh. cat. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, Newman would say, would it perhaps be possible for Anya to use the sanctuary star for the rod? They would know the second that that happened that something was going to go down. It wouldn't matter also, if there also was has no to way be to willing. escape. It has to be willing. And they okay. can yeah. escape it. Like, they can leave at any time. Yeah. All right. Or at the very least, I just want to get this over and done with. And Bertie, you mentioned earlier that you had some scrolls that would probably be used in an emergency circumstance. Yeah, that's it. They're all in here. He touches his backpack, um, or he's wearing. Would you mind if I perhaps kept on to one of those as well? Kept a hold on one. Yeah, yeah, sure. He puts his hat in there and he pulls out a uh, scroll of review of Pi and hands it to Newman. Um, so he's going to hold on to that. And then um, he's going to turn to Caius. Um, <sighs> he, yeah, okay. He's not going to, he's not going to make this a secret conversation. Um, Caius? Yes. Well, I think we all know here that you're probably, and you have proven yourself to be the most reliable fighter in our entire party. I want you to stop at nothing. Do not let him get away. And I will stop at nothing it's to protect always. everyone <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, Sam speaks up. Um, uh, they they uh it's it's weird with uh their kind they don't really see 
that uh, see uh, things as gendered when you can shift between uh, forms that mm-hmm. easily it, something like that uh, is yeah, one's got a bit of trivial. trouble with pro dance sometimes so you keep going yeah yeah with Tanapid the first time he met her um it's fine though he doesn't mean anything but they Newman I think it's a good idea too but he does this well whispering <laughs> um, he does a nod um, just like as an acknowledgement um, I will stop at nothing for any of us. Um, I will stop at nothing to protect every single one here. So if that takes any burden off you whatsoever, I'm trusting you. I'm asking you, you do not have to if you do not want. But you are the one person I know who can absolutely pull that off. Thank you for keeping the rest um, safe. And just from watching Kai's fight, um, he's considering casting a spell on Kai. It, 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 he wants to do it right before they do the surprise attack. Um, would Kai at all really benefit from um, advantage to strength checks? Does that um, affect his attack rolls at all? Uh, no, but I think Caius's strategy, uh, shield typically, bash. that would help his shield bash. Because mm. um, he can do a nu- he can do numerous things. He can improve his constitution, his strength, his dexterity. Um, I really wanted to do his wisdom, but it's simply for wisdom checks and not for saves. Mm. And um, just after hearing that perhaps this person can use charm... Um, human knows that likely um, we'll be doing like that sort of skill would be tested against us but he knows that this particular spell isn't good for a defense it's more so for a utility side of things so I think he's going to go simply with strength so just before the fight happens he's going to prepare or hold um, casting a spell and he's going to cast enhance ability full strength on Kai's which will give him advantage of strength checks. Mm. And his carrying capacity doubles. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Incredible. Mm. Beyond Counterspell, I have something that can help us with getting charmed. I just need to be prepared. She's got all kinds of uh, mind magics. And then she can make you forget things, so I'd, I'd keep that in mind. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to get into position? Uh, yeah, just one moment. And then um, Bertie runs over to the um, the bar. And he's like, hey, P, C. Yes. We got to do something out in the orchard. If you hear any no- anything, don't come out. Noted. It might not be safe for a bit. Okay. Uh- See you be, soon, hopefully. Be safe. We'll see. Ha! And then he t- um, turns and runs back to the um to the group. All right. And yeah. As we're walking out to the orchard and everyone's kind of getting their little battle face montages on, Ross is gonna just shove the jacket at Sam and be like, if Newman finds out. He will kill you next. Okay. Um, so he's he's gonna use use his kind of bardic or his his dexterity to kind of slip the jacket on under his robe. Um, and don't think you've gotten out of explaining all this to me. I know, I know, but there's no time for it now. May Senestaka bless you. And you. Out they go. And he draw he draws out his sword as as he's walking through. Cool. Um 
one quick part, Freddy will be like, Okay, Rook, nice to see you again. Yeah, it's uh, good the, to see you. The real Rook this time. Yeah. I'm sorry I let them... I'm sorry I let them learn me and trap me and now go after you folks. It's fine. Don't worry, Rook. Anya's safe right now. And we'll fix the problem in a moment. We don't blame any of you. I'm sure most- well, I don't. Probably because you could kill me very easily, so you know. <laughs> um, but it's nice to see you back. It's the second time. And yeah. Oh. It's good to see you. I will help. I will fix this mess that I made. And I will take them out. It's all good. We'll do it together. And then he um, uh, turns to Kai and is like, Okay, it's go time, right? Kai has uh, got his eyes closed. And he's sort of... Oh, he's uh, doing it again. <clears throat> jumping up and down on the spot. Uh, but he's kind of blinking from the left and the right a little bit. Okay, cool. Well, he's he's in his zone, so it's time for me. And he's going to use a bonus action to uh, in the scale melt armor. He's going to sprout large draconic wings um, out of the same shimmering holographic material that the um, the scale mail is made out of. Which, like, I'll scratch out. Cool. Okay, let's go. All right. Um, we'll be there for an yeah, hour. I don't think. Oh, um, so Hafren is going to turn into imp form. And it's going to say out loud while also projecting to Anya. When you're ready, Anya, we can take him. Um, so upstairs, I guess, um, in the interim, Anya's been feeding stories to, um, to one who is not um, to the wrong rook. And, um, she's been trickling through as many sort of stories of their adventures without revealing details as she mm. can. Um, and I can imagine it's been this sort of cat and mouse game of the two of them tiptoeing around what had happened. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, Joe. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, that's Is what Zach would be doing. Yeah, in particular that Zach would have tried to get out of her. Or... Um, not especially. Uh, probably Zath tries to get away a few points. Probably just being like, I need to go to the bathroom <laughs> and stuff. Um, but for the most part, yeah, just trying to talk, trying to reaffirm that they are Rook by sharing lots of details about the adventures, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Anya, at this point, she um, finishes wrapping up a story and um, she sighs and she smiles at Rook and she's like, it's, um, it's a beautiful evening. Um, Do you mind coming for a walk with me? I actually, um, well, back when we had some time off, I had something commissioned. Um, something commissioned. <laughs> I have a gift. Oh. Will you walk with me in the orchard? Sure, it's a, it's a rather uh, romantic day, wouldn't you say? <laughs> um, Anya chuckles a little bit and she's like, I, I, if that is um, what you would say. Shall we? Sure, I'm curious to see what you got to show me. She offers out like 
her elbow for Rook to wrap an arm around. Um, for not Rook to wrap yeah. an arm around. <laughs> and um, she starts leading um, them downstairs and out to the orchard. Um, and the whole time she, she starts um humming this soft little tune and um between it she's like you know a long time ago um back before i lost my sight i thought that um i thought that i'd never be able to uh, trust anyone uh, and then Bryn came along and she was bright and beautiful and after my parents passed away she was everything I had and now you have come along um, and she's leading um, not Rook closer and closer to um, the orchard and she's like and everything changed for me again especially here and now where I'm going to kill you for pretending to be what you're not and for threatening the people that I care about and that's and where we're gonna leave going it can, yeah. Can, yeah. She's going to um, stab her dagger upwards <laughs> towards um, Zath's throat. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will just, yeah, we'll resolve this quickly. Roll to hit with advantage. So is this is this the dagger? Like the the Hellfire dagger? Or is he this... doesn't have that. Ah. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was given away. <laughs> That's right. Nope, Birdie definitely has that. That's right. Um, but that would be a 23 to hit. 23 to hit. Okay, that definitely hits. Okay. Um, just give me a hot minute. Is he dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> how shaky is he looking? <laughs> yeah, so like, how, is how he shaky? How shaky are they looking? How shaky are they? Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will. I will oh, say right. while you're calculating just, just this, really as as he sees them approach, uh, Sam is also going to reach out to you with his shield hand and cast warding bond, Ross. So uh, I will remind you of this uh, next session. But uh, while you're within sixty feet of Sam. You have a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws and have resistance to all damage. Oh. Ow. Um, that's 29 points of damage. Nice. Uh, and Zap was not raging at the time, so that all goes. All right. Oh. <laughs> so, that's where we're going to leave it for this week. Oh, ah! no See you next week, everyone. See you next week, See you next time. Enjoy Sorry the break. Sorry for listening. <laughs> Sorry for listening. that um <laughs> ross would have been a low blow and anya was just 
the worst choice, but Zach yes. would have known. No, yeah. that's a right. No way, no way. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, yeah, if you'd picked Ross and charmed her, then maybe she wouldn't have told anyone. And then, yeah. you know, you would have. Doesn't matter that Sam and Rook are coming. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I was that gonna choose been either Ross or Kai, but then so, Kai was so useless in the talk that uh, <laughs> Zach was like, nah. Yeah, so, that's like, well, he's useless. For reference, <laughs> for reference for you, Johanna. Yeah. So you do have the uh, bone scorch, and not the bone scorcher. You do have oh, the yes, flame yes. tongue great sword. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but uh, um, yeah, I would assume that a lot. I would assume Cinder that Cinder is quaking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you do not have the belt of hill giant strength. So yeah, your strength no. is only oh, sixteen. Strength? No. <laughs> uh, oh no, man. You do not have the bone scorcher. You. I hate that. And you do not Ice have the cloak of protection. Oh. And you don't have naked. pretty much anything else either, but, um, but those are the things that are important. she's scantily clad in, like, rags, so, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. that, should, that should have yeah. enough. Yeah, so Anya's going to use a bonus action to be thirsty. Like, that <laughs> <laughs> 